Hello and welcome back to the Picky Swedes YouTube channel and uh, I haven't been able to make so many videos lately because I for once I have uh, built two challenge locks and I have sent them to their receivers and I have also run out of locks to pick at home so uh, yesterday I was I went by my local locksmith and he gave me this Buddha, he gave me a 7 pin Asa and uh, two of these two me cylinders these are keyed alike and I have made one into a progressive training lock and the other one is still untouched and uh, this 7 pin Asa has to wait for my skill level to rise so put that on the shelf Oh, and I also got I got this <laughs> big uh, big big uh, motorcycle lock from from him that he he had picked it open for a, for a customer on site and uh, the key is lost so he was about to throw it away and um, I got it for for free as well so uh, he's a really good guy he helps me out. But today we have this uh, Buddha door lock. It's an oval cylinder, five pinner. I have been playing around with this uh, so I know what I'm facing. And uh, let's see if we can um, get an open on camera as well. Okay, so we're up in the hooked up in the vise and we'll use our tension wrench in the bottom here because it won't fit in the top of keyway today. Uh, start with uh, try to get in a full set so light tension and some raking with the triple peak See if we can get something. Okay, there we go. Now, the, yeah, the pick was a bit stuck. So we have a false set and uh, definitely some spools in here. And uh, oh, my tool is bent up here. So we will go in with our trusted modified pick from Southward kit and see if we can touch and see who's talking here. The first one gives me counter rotation. Okay, first one is set. It's a spool. Let's see Second one is it's really bound up, so try to reach under him and go for the third one, which is also giving me a counter rotation here. Okay, he is set, but we lost our false set. See if we can get it back. Trying to work this pin in the back here. This fifth one. Not getting my false setback. Keep losing him 
on the pick. Keyway is pretty restricted and I have to work with the tools I got, so I might get caught on the warding as well. Let's see if we can't break it again. Okay, so we're back at the false false set here. Um, go again. Okay, one once more. This one is really bound up. Where am I trouble reaching around? Okay. Barely touched number four there and he went back into this deeper one. I wonder if I have to reach around the third one and pick the fourth one before him. That might be the case. Let's see if we can get fairly large thin hook in here and reach around him. Count rotation on the fourth one as well. It's so pointy, I keep slipping off the pin here. Okay, we're back in a false set with the fourth one. Goes deeper and deeper. <laughs> Gotta be some nasty spools here. Oh, come on. I think I have him pinned down. No. Keep slipping off. We'll try this medium hook with a flat top here. See if I can grip it and grip it better. I can see now that I think we only have one pin left and he is really high. So I really have to be dead center on the pin when I lift him because he is going way up in the lock. Keeps pushing him to the side and when I do I lose him and I get a drop on another pin here. Really tricky one. Oh, come on. Okay, so we are back again. Is the second, third, and fourth pin that keeps giving me the headache. So now we're back again at the deep, deep fall set here, and we push. Okay, finally, that got it open. I think it was the, it was the second pin drop down again on me. So.
there we go. We have an open and uh, let's see if we can't gut this as well. Now you see my tripod stand as well. So we will move back here and I will disassemble this one. So away with the vise and see if we can get a good, good picture here. We'll use our pinning tray, which by the way has two pins here from another lock. And I, I made this beautiful brass follower the other day. Uh, my friend has, has a workshop I can use, but um, this one only fits the ASA locks and uh, this one is slightly smaller so it won't fit, so I have to make another one as well, but we'll try that some other time. We'll use a 8mm long socket for a follower today. So we get the clip on the back side. See if we can't spread that guy to remove it. Oh yeah, he came off really well. Oh, let's see here. I should put this right like so. And yeah, there we go. So the first pin here is a standard pin, the second one is also standard, the third one is, oh, that's a short one, standard really very short pin, the fourth one is also standard and the fifth one is also a standard pin. Okay, so that means that the magic is upstairs. A pair of tweezers. Let's see if you can get a look at this. We have a spool, number one. And another spool. Oops. Another spool. And the third one here is also a spool that explains the, the false sets on every pin. And the fourth one is, wait for it, another spool. Let's see at the back here. Something must have kept it from being floppy. Yep, there we go, standard one. And four springs. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have copper springs. the right way around. So, let's zoom in on, on these guys. And as you can imagine, this third guy here, a really high set, he is the one that made all the trouble. So we got the medium, low, high, medium and low cut. And let's take a look here. I think this is just a standard old old one. Yeah, no mods there. No none what I can see. Um swell here and plug. 
come on, give me some focus. Yeah, it really looks looks standard as well. Some some milling here, but I think that's from the machining. Okay, so that's the that's the Buddha lock. Oval cylinder, five pin, four of them were spools and a standard one. Thank you for watching. This is the Picky Swede. Don't forget to like and subscribe.